Hey, welcome back everybody. Welcome any uh, new subscribers. What we got going on today? Well, we're gonna fart around with the, uh, with this big rock. Big rock, so. Had this a little bit. It's got about three, four battery packs running through it. Three S's. And, uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, throw some, uh, mud shields, dirt shields, whatever the hell you, shields you wanna call them. Basically, to protect the, uh, drive shafts. Because these shocks have little shields. You know, I think the uh, original ready-to-run shocks that came with this have little shields too. So, with dirt getting inside this bad boy here, it's going to clog this shit up. And it's not going to work too good. So, these are for a low Z8 buggy. They're about probably eight, nine, ten bucks shipped to your door. I think I had a couple packs of them. Yep, I got another pack right there. So, figure let's see if this crap will fit on there. And as you can see, I already got one mounted. Fits on there real nice. I did have to trim some of it. Some of the end right in here. Because it was hitting when it lifted up. You can see it comes damn close right there. But I think that'll protect this uh, drive shaft. So, so how to do it? Well... Let me show you. I'm going to start with uh, taking this tire off. So I'll get back. Alright. Pulled the tire off. Also pulled this screw out. And I took the screw out for the shock. So that way I can drop this as far as it'll go. Alright. I'm going to take this. Move shit out of the way. Pull this a little closer. We're gonna have to trim this uh this little nub in here. This gotta go. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna line this hole up right where this little hole is for the pin. And then we're gonna have to drill another hole and then we'll use this hole here. And we can get at it with the drill from the bottom side. So that's how I did it. Let's look at uh, let me see. Uh, got damn shocks in the way. Give me a second. I'm just going to take a little of this corner off and uh, that'll be enough. Alright, got the nubbin off. And like I said, I'm going to line it up. I'm going to take a little magic marker and make a little mark there where I'm going to put the hole. Just make sure your drill bit isn't too damn big, man. And you don't need to put no screw like this in there. <laughs> so make sure you got some little screws laying around. Alright, let me get going on that. I got a little mark. I'm gonna put it in the center line there and then uh, put a screw in and then I'll make the other mark for the other uh, hole I drill. And then, uh, cause I'm not gonna use this hole. So, let me get going. All right, let me see, I've used my first hole, mounted it. Got this exactly where I want it. Drilled my second hole, so now my shit's all lined up looking sweet. And uh, put that screw in and we're done. All right. Wham bam, shit. Look good. Didn't interfere with the body. And I, I, I don't know, there might be a cheaper mud uh, dirt guard out there. I, I, I freaking don't know. I just have it had this shit laying around. You guys know my dumb ass. I'm gonna fiddle. And I had extras and I didn't need them. So I was like, well, let me try this. Look like they'll fit. Make sure as hell did. Put in there perfect. Put tire on, make sure it fits. Yep. No issues. Look good back there if you ask me. Should help. Keep the dirt out of the drive shafts. So, like I said, for under ten bucks, shit. Gonna go to work. As long as you got some screws, you need some smaller ones. I wouldn't go too big. It ain't like that plastic really super thick. I don't think this is going to affect it any, but you start sticking some big ass ones in there. It might be a different story. All right. See what else, or till next time.